Hey everyone, Arjun here, aka Golf Clash Kane. In this video, I will show you only keyholes for the weekend round, which you can try out first in the practice arena and maybe get some sweet drops in the real game. Hole one will have two options. Hole three is send it with shamrock ball. Hole five is a safe play. Hole six is a high risk rough bump with apocalypse six or seven or better. Hole seven can be made to green and then you will have a simple wedge for the eagle and hole nine is a high risk drive as well. So all these holes are going to be narrated by me, all the elevations I use, all the spins and stuff. I will narrate as we go through the holes. So please duly note these important points. And also looking at my scorecard, I bought the drive on hole four and got a par. Apart from that, I believe it can be an easy minus 14 or minus 15 with some necessary tweaks. Do let me know what you think of the video and my gameplay. Good luck on your round and now let's hop on to hole number one. For hole one, uh, I first practice with the Basaka ball and Apocalypse level six. I'm going to use full toss spin and two left spin here. We are going for a power hook. Clear ring, sorry, the red ring just touching the rock there on the right two small rocks, the bottom rock, full fledged power hook, and very really nice bounce, in the rough. Now for the second shot here, you are close to the green. I played this one minimum distance plus I guess I played this one minimum distance plus 25 percent but I still missed it to the right so I would say maybe minimum distance plus 30 percent can give you a possible eagle on hole one see you right here Bouncing on the fringe, ball guard line through the hole. And once again, I played min plus 25. You you could play min plus 30. Perfect shot! As we miss it very close. Oh. Oh. Nice on! The second option is with the power 5 and 0 ball. In this case, I had a very high wind, 19 miles per hour, and I did not adjust the topspin accordingly, but I was still close to the green. I used 2.5 left spin and max topspin. Maybe you can go with four to five bars of topspin instead. You don't need to play with six or seven. Same thing, red ring by the bottom rock there on the right. Full-fledged power hook. Once again, you need to tweak your topspin according to the wind. I played full topspin and this is what happened. I was still close to the green. But yeah, this is a very good chance for an eagle. Hole 3 par 5. Here we have a scented tailwind. I'm using a shamrock ball, which is a power 5 wind zero ball. Full topspin and half a bar of left spin and in the replay it doesn't show but i was aiming my target on the center of the next fairway there 0.9 left curl perfect shot try to hit a perfect shot and here you will see with the perfect drive we make a very good distance up on the drive now we are very close to the green so if you just hit perfect with your rough iron or your sandwich you will drop it for the albatross and I did the same I first tried to use all the toss spin but then I realized okay it's a little too much then 
I tweak the topspin according to my ball guard line going through the hole. Since we have a headwind, you want the ball guard line to be through the hole. See right there, it's all set up. Center of the pin. Elevation, minimum distance plus 10%. And try to hit perfect. I got away with a great shot, but we should always try to hit a perfect shot. Great shot! Oh. Albatross! Hole 5 part 5. Here also we have cross tailwind. I'm using a luminary ball with my Apocalypse level 6. Full toss spin to right spin. First I keep the red ring by the rough and then I keep my blue ring by the rough because we have a tailwind and we can expect a little unusual push and instead of taking the bounce in the green we can straight away land in the rough so keeping that in mind I push half of the blue ring inside the rough on the right. Elevation maximum distance plus 15%. This much curl to the right. Perfect shot! Nice perfect shot. Take a very nice bounce on the green, making a very good distance for our second sniper shot. Uh, for the second sniper shot, you need to make sure you do not adjust down into the bunker. So initially I had my blue ring by the bunker there, but then I realized, okay, it's a little too much to adjust down into the bunker. Then I pushed my target way onto the right. You see, first I adjust from here. Then I see we have the bunker. Then I push my target more towards the right and using more left spin and you can use more curl instead of dropping down in, into the bunker here you will drop down into the bunker either ways but it will be comparatively low amount of rings and try to hit perfect i hit a great shot and great shot on an great shot a great shot on an uneven green will never drop so there you go a safe eagle but again if you nice go for the albatross adjust the rings properly Hole 6, part 3. Here we have a kind of cross headwind. Not exactly hand, but yeah, cross headwind here. Using 4.5 backspin, I'm playing with a Spartan ball, which is a power, five win, power 4 wind 5 ball. Ball got line in line of the pin. And elevation I played, maximum distance plus 40%. Max plus 40, 4 0. And you will go into overpower, so make sure you note the amount of rings there I went one ring into OP so I used three rings of OP here great shot and I hit a great shot perfect might have been closer but great shot was also close as well so try to hit perfect and nice I might have a good chance for a hole in there. Hole 7 par 4, here we have a headwind, but if you want an easy eagle, you have to make it to the green anyhow, it doesn't matter what kind of wind you have. So using a power 4, wind 4 ball, and side spin 2, full toss spin, full side spin, and just aiming at the center of the big rock there. First I go for full curl, then I take off about one ball curl there for my power hook. Take a nice bounce, roll through the rough for an easy wedge for the eagle. Following up on the drive, now we have a comparatively easy wedge here. So keeping the bounce on the fringe so that it is even. Do not keep it on the fairway or the green, just keep it on the fringe. One to two bars of toss spin with the ball guard line to the hole. Elevation I played, maximum distance plus 
So for 8.8 .8, it was about 10.1 rings. And all you need to do it is perfect. Perfect shot. Perfect shot for a sweet eagle. Oh. Eagle. Whole line par five. So this drive I tested with the Bryson ball like two times, and this is the third time I executed in the main round. Full toss spin, one right spin. And it's not a power hook, it's a regular perfect shot but with without any OP at max stretch position red ring by the edge of the bunker there and full right curl about one ring OP try to hit a perfect shot great shot again it's a risky drive you do not want to play it then just lay up we'll take a nice bounce on the rock Now for the second shot the argument that can be put up is like just lay up and play a safe sniper or a cataclysm shot or a rough bump. Yes you can definitely do that but if you want to have more easier approach I would any day take a closer sand wedge or a rough iron for the albatross than a long distance wood club shot. So that's just me you can make your own decision. For this shot I played this one minimum distance plus 30 percent and I also hit a great shot. But considering the miss and how close I was, I would say you can play this one minimum distance plus 35 to 40% elevation. Ball guard line should be a little short of the pin since we have tailwind. And just try to hit a perfect shot. Great shot! I hit great. See, we were comparatively close. But once again, try to hit perfect and you might drop the Albert. Nice on!